So welcome back to the channel, Eric here. In this week's episode, we are here in Beverly Hills about to film this newly constructed transitional home right behind me here, located at 1087 Maryland Drive. I film a lot of these homes and I haven't been this excited to film a new build in a long time. Now some stats on this home, it has seven bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. It's just over 10,000 square feet of interior living space situated on a half acre lot listed for just under $24 million. Now, before we jump into this tour, as always, I want to give a huge thanks to the listing agents, Aaron Kerman and Holland, the developer for letting us be the very first ones to tour their brand new build. And with that, let's jump into this tour. Starting at the exterior of the home, the property is elevated from street level, passing through this gated entry up this nice curved driveway leading here to the motor court. Now behind me, we have the detached two car garage. And as far as the actual architectural elements of this home, we have a nice smooth stuck finish with those aluminum black windows throughout the entire space with the steel roof. From the motor court, we're actually going to walk to the front entryway of the house. This would be your side entryway. And one thing I want to really touch here is the landscaping. We have beautiful, just top of the line landscaping, a lot of olive trees. Below me on the pavers, we have sandstone. And you'll see in a few years, this will all mature and grow and creating an awesome privacy barrier. Then this pathway leads to the front entry where you have this mature olive tree with this nice bench, creating a very clean moment here. Below us again, sandstone with the smooth stucco. And behind us, your double entry door, which leads into the home, shall we? So entering this home, you have these beautiful French steel doors which transcend into this foyer, connecting all the common rooms with little resistance. It is as open concept as you get in the most tasteful way. This open floor plan with soaring ceilings feels airy yet warm due to the home's immaculate woodworking made from organic rift white oak throughout the entire space. Another unique touch is the white oak is actually on the ceilings and the trim. And I want to point this out. All the trim in this house is shadow trimmed. It's extremely difficult to do and it's found throughout the entire space tying everything together. But to start this tour off, let's head off to the right here, passing through these double doors into your home office. I wanna point this out, this is so beautiful. This is an enclave library essentially with all that white oak with the inlaid LEDs underneath each shelf. I just think this is such a nice moment and I'm trying to convey the feeling of warmth throughout this space because that's just what hits you when you walk in. I wanna point out also we have the French doors which open up indoor outdoor living in a very, again, transitional way. It's not overtly modern where it's just a, a pane of glass which opens up. Front and center we have the modern desk. And I do wanna point out that this could be a guest bedroom because off to the left, Left here, we actually have a little kind of pantry area, and then this would be your ensuite bathroom. We have a floating vanity with quartzite on the countertop, these LED lights built right into this plaster on the wall, and then right behind me, as you can see, steam shower. Heading back into the entryway, we're now going to go right forward. This is the first thing you see when you walk into the home. This is your great room. And I just wanna break down the materials really quick. Again, you have that white oak on the floor and the ceiling with all the lighting built right into that white oak. And I wanna point this out. Even the HVAC vents are all custom white oak covering. You have this gas fireplace with the limestone below on the mantle and this nice seating area. This is all custom white oak millwork, which hides away your entertainment center. So these are dual barn doors, which then cover the shelving, revealing your TV built right into the wall. And you even have the soundproof paneling surrounding the TV, which is actually built into the wall here. This is the most tasteful display of a TV I've ever seen. A lot of times you don't want to walk into a room and have the TV right there. This, it has that use of the white oak throughout the whole space, hides it very nicely. Again, when this is closed, you have all of your shelving here with the LED lights built in. All in all, such a clean design here in the great room. The entire back wall of this great room is floor to ceiling glass with that black paint aluminum leading out to your backyard, which we're gonna to touch on in a second. Off to my left, this is your stairwell connecting the living floor to the bedrooms and then below us you'll see that in a second that's pretty awesome but in front of us now we are in your top of the line gourmet state-of-the-art chef's kitchen and just feast your eyes on what's behind me The focal point, the centerpiece of this kitchen is this giant slab island of Taj Mahal marble. This is just one slab. I can't drive that home enough how rare that is and how difficult to not have any seams in this entire piece of marble. I really love how it complements the white oak and warms up the entire space rather than giving it that cold feeling. Here you have your 
Chef prep sink right in the center. Behind me, you have your Wolf range. This is your six burner stovetop with the dual ovens. The backsplash again is that Taj Mahal marble. Here you have all your built-ins. This is your refrigerator, all sub-zero, built seamlessly in with white oak on the paneling. Again, you have all the LED lights built into this open concept shelving. Towards the other side of this island, here we have all your additional appliances. Everything is Wolf Suite, all built in again, all that shadow trim, the same as with the appliances built right into this white oak. On the other side of the island, this is your breakfast bar with seating for five. And then again, you have an additional kind of storage space countertop moment here with all the cabinetry above. Now right off of your chef's kitchen, you have two doors which lead into your formal dining room space. Again, you have the French doors right in the front letting in all that natural sunlight. Off to my left, you have this beautiful powder room. This powder room is all white oak on the walls and the ceiling and you have this beautiful archway here above this sink, which is one giant piece of marble with the drain laser cut right into that marble. Even get to look at the size of this door. This is just one solid piece of white oak. Just for a frame of reference, the powder room's there, dining room here. At the very end of your formal dining space, this is your prep kitchen. And just look at the sunlight in here. You have Taj Mahal marble on the countertop. You have these French windows which open up, letting the just the life into this prep kitchen. Normally prep kitchens are off to the side. They're very dark. This is the complete opposite. You've got your Wolf suite of appliances, your Sub-Zero oversized commercial grade refrigerator freezer combo. And then this goes right back along to that first door which we mentioned at the start of the video. That's your motor court there behind which leads us back to your kitchen. Now right off of the kitchen, here is your family room. And before we head in here, I wanna point this out off to the left. This is your office nook moment. I wanna call this a nook because it's not a proper room. Here it's staged with a desk. Again, that sunlight just throughout the whole space. But the real wow moment is this family room. Front and center, you have your gas fireplace with the limestone on the mantle going up the chimney. And I just wanna point out how open concept this is. You have all those French doors which totally open up, giving your family room indoor outdoor living. So if you wanna, you wanna head outside, put the shades on. Right in front of me, this is the connection to your garage, which is off to my left. Again, the landscaping is just so precise and pristine with all the trees, these stone pavers below me. Now we have your outdoor kitchen space, and this is actually a dual-sided fireplace. So here on the flip side, we actually have a wood-burning fireplace out here, and we have Ipe wood throughout the entire space. Here we have it on the mantel, your table front and center with seating for eight, and then you have your proper outdoor kitchen with all of your built-ins, your wolf suite of appliances, even you have your wine chiller outside along with inside. Here in the backyard, it is really an oasis and the developer Holland went the extra mile with just the usage of this land, which he'll explain a bit more at the end of this video when we sit down. But you have this beautiful retaining wall, which essentially now is a grove of olive trees. When these mature, it's gonna look so beautiful. You have your infinity edge swimming pool complete with your hot tub built in. And then you have this Ipe patio space with a nice walk up with seating around your gas fireplace, which is just a beautiful moment here in your backyard. It's very peaceful, especially being in Beverly Hills. You have total privacy here. Here we have your outdoor patio space with some seating area. We're gonna pass through these beautiful French doors. And now we're gonna head up the stairwell to the bedrooms. I wanna point out at the very top here, we have this beautiful skylight letting in all that natural light to the entire first floor. At the top of your staircase, off to my left, this is the owner's wing of the home. And you pass through, this is one plank of that white oak on a swivel, no hinges, entering into the owner's bedroom here at this estate. The first thing you notice is this vaulted ceiling. We have the white oak on the ceiling with everything built in, all the sound, the lights, the HVAC, also tastefully done. Behind me, you'll notice you have all the French doors and a gas fireplace here with the sandstone on the mantel. My favorite feature of the owner's bedroom is this terrace right off to the side, which overlooks your motor court, your property, and it faces south, so you have sun the entire day. And the beauty of this terrace, not only is it spacious, but it connects the bedroom to the primary bathroom. 
Front and center here in the owner's bathroom, we have this freestanding Victoria and Albert soaking tub with your stainless steel fixtures here coming right out of the floor. This is the only moment in the house where we have the lighter colored marble. This is all Calcutta marble on the floors and the floating vanities. The vanities are mirrored on either side. So you have the white oak on the cabinets and then the actual countertop is that Calcutta white marble. Even here in your steam shower, you have the book match Calcutta marble on the wall. And if you look above me, it's even on the ceiling, just giving it that symmetry and that elegance. So heading out of your steam shower, we'll keep this closed. I want to show this off. This is your closet moment. Again, you have the white oak on the walls, the ceiling and the floors. Off to my left, you have the his and hers closet. This is the smaller of the two, still very decent size. And then in front of me, this would be the larger and everything is flush and seamless. In case you do want that privacy, you have the doors which pocket into the walls with the closet connecting the bedroom to the bathroom. But we're gonna head out of the primary suite now. So out of the primary bedroom, you have your stairwell to the right. This is a sitting area right off of the stairwell, which is just a nice little moment. Then right in front here, this is staged as the office, but this could easily be another bedroom because you do have the ensuite bathroom here. You have that groove sandstone here in the shower and tub area. Back into the seating area, the main atrium of the bedroom floor of the house, we have off to the left the additional bedrooms. This would be bedroom number three. You have this nice view here of the pool and your land down below. This does have an ensuite bathroom. And then across the hallway, you have bedroom number four, which again has that additional ensuite bathroom. And connecting these two bedrooms, you have this closet storage space here, which could be your linen closet. It's a nice use of the space here. But from the bedroom wing, we're actually gonna head back downstairs now to the entertainment floor. Right off the stairwell on the entertainment floor, this is a very unique use of the space. So you have your, essentially your kitchen downstairs on the entertainment floor with the Taj Mahal marble on the countertop and the backsplash, LED light right into the cabinetry. In front of the kitchen, you have your built-in Taj Mahal marble island. And then right in front of me, this is your home theater. And I love this because it's very rare in these homes where you have the home theater, which is open concept. This has a more family feeling to it, whereas it is connected to the kitchen right off of this home theater. The screen is built right into the wall here. And this is actually the only part in the house where I would want to point this out. You have this grass woven fabric here on the walls to give a bit of soundproofing. All the other walls are this Portolo glaze paint, which is very, very hard to do. It almost gives it a Venetian plaster look, but it's more expensive. So that's the only moment there where you don't have that on the walls, this nice grass woven fabric. Off of your home theater, we have the poker area, which connects the entire space. Passing through this aluminum black painted French doors, this is your home fitness center in this estate. And you've got that white oak on the floors, the walls, and the ceilings. I also wanna point out that you have these beautiful prop fans to give a bit of airflow in here. Now off of your home gym, this was a very, very tasteful design element. This is a light well, which was actually turned into a stairwell, which connects the lower level to your backyard space. Traditionally, this would just be essentially a hole in the ground letting in sunlight. Here, you have the stairwell connecting the lower level to your backyard. I love how this gym has ample space. You can fit a ton of equipment here. It's the most unique take on a home gym that I've seen in a home of this caliber. Now leaving the home gym, we have your wine cellar off to the left here. How? elegant is this wine cellar. This is all that white oak built into this open shelving to house all of your wine with the LED lighting built right into the shelving. Just take a look at the frame. It is so tasteful and this is all temperature controlled. Out of the wine cellar off and to my left, this is your sauna bathroom moment. Here you have your sauna right here and then behind me this is your steam shower so after you get done your workout you can take care of yourself right here on this lower level so now right off of the staircase in front of me this is your guest bedroom wing so off to my right this is the first of the guest bedrooms on this lower level and again as you can see we're on the subterranean level but you have so much sunlight in these light wells pouring into the space you would think that you were on the top floor but we're down below and all the finishes in the ensuite bathrooms are that beautiful limestone and the white oak tying throughout the entire space. So leaving bedroom number five back out into this connecting hallway, this is bedroom number six. Again, you have your ensuite bathroom, your closet off to the right, and another very large size guest bedroom which has the light well. And these light wells actually connect the two bedrooms together. So even let's step out here for a second. The fact that you have this southern facing sunlight that comes into these subterranean bedrooms, that is such a tasteful design element that you wouldn't find in many places. 
but heading back into this guest bedroom, there's still something I want to show you. This is, well, you'll see. So if we leave this guest bedroom, we head back out into the hallway. In front of me, this is your laundry room here at the Maryland House Estate. And this laundry room, for some perspective of the scale, this is a little larger than the first apartment I lived in when I moved to New York City. That's how large this space is. You have four washer and dryers. You have the quartzite on the countertop with that grass woven fabric on the walls, all the lacquered free floating cabinetry with the lights built in underneath. And then this room here off to the end, this is essentially just a storage room off the laundry room. Thank you for joining us and letting us tour your awesome new build. So first question, what was the inspiration behind this specific property? Well, being, being a realtor also in the area and just kind of seeing what goes up, uh, a lot of the newer developments were very large, uh, but they feel a little cold, a lot of glass, a lot of cold marble. Uh, so what I wanted to do uh, with, with the help of an architect and my designer was to try to create a house that has the size that the families are looking for, but it's functional. And every room is somewhere where you can cozy up with the book and not feel like you're in an echo chamber. So we wanted to create something that was warm, uh, functional, and very emotional. What are the specific materials that you really utilize throughout the whole home? The predominant material that we have in this house is um, all natural elements. We have concrete smooth stucco, which is outside. We've got plaster walls, which gives you a nice texture. We've got Swan Rift White Oak throughout the entire house, which is a select grade. And the goal was to match the floors with the ceilings. And if you notice, we've got shadow molding detail that connects to the trim around every door and every window, which is a very rare feature even with the custom homes. And then we also have natural elements such as a Taj Mahal marble, which was imported from Spain. We've got a limestone throughout the entire house, which is also from Spain. We've got marble, and then we have steel. So we got all the elements, but yet we wanted to make sure that it's masked with some natural white oak to warm it up. When I first bought this lot, it was off market. Uh, a family bought it, tried to remodel it. It was an old California ranch home. The hillside, which you have now three retaining walls, the hillside actually came down to where the house starts. So theoretically speaking, I wasn't able to build 11,000 square feet when I bought it, but with some creative engineering and moving some soil, we cut the hillside back 21 feet, created those retaining walls, increased our pad, which allowed us to get an extra 5,000 square feet. We've got natural, mature, 30-foot trees. And so the budget for the landscaping here is just as much as any other trade, because we wanted to make sure that you got that oasis garden grove. I also want to let you know that the interior design was Sarah Bouquet for Colab House. Wow. I mean, you definitely, you know what you're doing. This isn't your first rodeo with developing. How did you get into this? Well, I got into um, my grandfather back home uh, in Afghanistan was a developer, uh, but once we left the country in 79, <clears throat> he wasn't able to do it here. So when I was in college, I always wanted to get into real estate and slowly in 2010 started buying some bank REOs. And so it was just something I've always dreamt of doing. Started small and uh, this is the, uh, this is the creme, creme de la creme, I guess you should say. It definitely is. Yeah. With that then, what is some advice that you can offer to someone watching who wants to be an agent or wants to be a developer? Well, uh, it might sound cliche, but you can't do it for the money. Uh, obviously, we work for money. That's uh, very obvious, but you can't do development on a spreadsheet. Do it as if you'd buy it for your family. Don't cut corners with craftsmanship finishes and material. And um, if you have to break the budget, you have to break the budget. If you're out there and you're looking to purchase this property, or you know someone who is, all the information is down below in the description of this video. Holland, thank you again for letting thank us you. tour right. your incredible build. It. And with that, we will see you in the next video.